this video will instruct you how to make a bowl of beauty peony and we are going to use the peony mini flower bundle petal number four along with two free centers i'm offering in my photo fab paper flower makers group on facebook and i will put the links to the two files in the description below so you're going to cut everything according to the instructions at the beginning of this video or else it's also posted on my facebook page in the 2022 photo album 2022 crafting happy hour instructions all right so we're going to go ahead and get started so the very first thing we're going to do and the list of supplies is also on the instruction document i apologize we are going to use and it's totally optional wild honey distress oxide our white paper we use is Nina Bright White, so the Bowl of Beauty Peony has some hints of yellow on the white petals. I'm using two different shades of marker, so you can use any kind. I'm using like a raspberry pink and an olive green. We need an embossing stylus, so this can be purchased at Dollar Tree. We need our metal ball stylus tool, our flower shaping mat, our bone folder, wire cutters, needle nose pliers, and we need, um, this is a metal bath bomb mold, they're called, but you can also use, if you have the ornaments, half of the ornament balls. Okay, so these are a great alternative as well, and they work just fine. I do um, offer quite a few of these tools in my Etsy shop, so please stop by and check them out. So we're going to use, this is 24 gauge white wire. I do purchase it on Amazon. You can use any color. And we're going to create our center. So I cut an approximate piece of wire about two inches. So here's one, two. And you need three of them. Then you're going to take your needle nose pliers and bend it. So I'm not going to go right all the way at the top. I'm going to make a larger loop than we normally do for our stemming. And then I just close it a little. Now we're going to, I'm going to take a piece of scrap paper. Just to put it underneath, I'm going to use some hot glue and I'm going to fill in the loop, flip it over, fill in the other side, and then come on top and add a little bit more. And I'm going to keep turning it so it kind of creates the shape of a Q-tip or a teardrop. And I kind of keep twirling it and moving it up and down. It's going to move for a little bit. I am using Gorilla Glue. It does dry super fast, however, when we have a large glob of it. And then I, I stash them in my Styrofoam. So you can see the difference. This one is wet and still drying, where the other ones are a lot more um, darker in color and not as translucent. So you can see I wasn't paying attention. So we're just going to hang it upside down. To me, it reminds me of glass blowing, like that you can move it around till it dries. The shape really doesn't matter. I have a crazy looking one over there. I don't know. It's almost like a teardrop or the end of a Q-tip. And I use white just because we are going to color the tips, but... You may be able to see it. It really doesn't matter though. When you think it's done moving, which I think it is, I like to let them dry in my styrofoam. And like I said, you need three of them. So we're just gonna let that one sit there and we're gonna place that to the side. I always just put a piece of scratch paper underneath in case my glue drops, which it, it happens. It's fine. For the centers, for all of them that you're going to cut according to the instruction document, we're going to use our Distress Oxide Wild Honey. 
optional or another yellow color that you have in your stash. And in a circular motion, add some yellow color, approximately a half to, you can go even go out to three quarters. If you look at the bowl of peony, bowl of beauty peony online, you can see that it has that white with the yellow center. And you do that for all of your centers. And again, I'm using this. It is one of my favorites. And um, it's what I have in my stash. Then you're going to take your bone folder for all the centers. And you're going to curl them. So just place it underneath and pull it. It's almost like you're curling ribbon. Just go around and curl all the petals. Okay, so that's my very last one. So I'm just gonna set them there. Now we're gonna take our flower shaping mat, which is a soft foam mat. And with our sepal, which is the peony sepal, and this is five inches wide. We're going to use our embossing stylus, so we're going to use the wider end. We're going to draw a line down the center and then draw lines towards the center. And this is going to style your leaf. Draw your line down the center and then do lines towards the center. Okay, so you, it adds the veining. You can then pinch and pinch each end. And then you're going to pierce your hole right in the center. I use the opposite end of the bossing one, the smaller end. So this end. For our petals, all three, so there's two of them, a petal for the peony mini flower bundle. You need one at 5.25 inches wide and two at 5.5. The first thing you're going to do is use the embossing end of our tool. And we're going to add lines. Don't think about it. Just draw them towards the imaginary center. Again, it's like you're embossing the petal. looks like a seashell almost. We're going to do this to all the petals on all three. Okay, then we're going to take our metal ball or you can use like the plastic ornament cups and we're going to use the medium size. So they come in a set of three in my Etsy shop and you're just going to press the petal. So go right up to the edge, press it in. It takes the shape and stir. And we're using our metal ball stylus tool. And we're just going around and even though we added those embossing lines, you still see them. You can still see that texture. So now you can see we're making a bowl of beauty. So it's taking the shape of a larger bowl. And then you can roll the center and that lifts the petals. Okay, so now let's go back to our center little teardrop that we made. And now we're going to use our markers. So we need three of them. So green goes on the bottom. So 
So I just color around and you can do a little bit down the stem. Now we are going to cut them off. And then you can take your raspberry color. So this one is very berry. And now we're going to do the top. And if they overlap, that's okay. Don't stress out that you're just coloring. It reminds me of blown glass, doesn't it? It's so beautiful. We're just going to throw that in there. Now we're going to take another one. And again, this one is very berry by Blick Studio. I order them from Blick. The top part is a berry. Any berry will do if you have a Sharpie set. That works. And then the bottom half is green, and this is 070 olive. And again, I use the white wire just because you don't see it as much. You could use green. It's okay. Use whatever you have. Take your next one, greens at the bottom, so a little bit on the stem just in case I don't cut it too close. <laughs> Making sure you're awake and <laughs> add the berry to the top. So the pink paper I'm using is Fuchsia by Recollections from Michaels. It comes in a pack of 50. Or it's also available in the pink buttons paper pack. So now that we have our centers, aren't they beautiful? We're going to cut them off. <laughs> Don't be afraid. I'm just going to go right up to the edge and cut it off. And I don't keep this little piece. So if you wanted to cut them shorter, you can. I just find the two inches is best for me to work with. That's what they look like. Now we're going to take our very center, the smallest one. I'm going to roll it just a little. We're going to glue these in. So I just add a little bit of glue to the tip. And try and keep her standing up. Now, if you're good with working with craft tweezers, it would be a good time. I am not. <laughs> so just add glue. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Don't do what I just did. <laughs> it's okay if you did. Oh 
Oh goodness. Alright. There we go. We're going to fold the center up and around. Pull out your next one, roll the center, and we're going to glue it in. So you just add glue to the bottom. Glue it in the center. Take your next one. It's a very full center. And I'll zoom in a little bit for you. Roll the center. And now your, your, your petals are folded up. You can see them in there. It's like a little nest. Add your next one. Again, both of these centers are free in my PhotoFab Paper Flower Makers group on Facebook. In the Files tab, it is free to join. And it is Peony Center 1 and 2. And we are making a bowl of beauty. We just keep adding glue to the bottom and placing it in the center. So now we're at the peony center number two. It's a wider petal. And roll those centers to close those petals in. Again, it looks like a nest. You may think it's a lot of petals, but it's a large flower. Because you think of the name, a bowl of beauty. What you can start to do, if you like, is just to roll those larger ones. Just stir it in a circle. And it's going to make them curve in towards the center. Roll your whole petal. Add your glue, and then what you can do is look for look at a petal and place it in between. So just come down from the top. Again, these are our larger ones, so go ahead and roll the larger petal just in a circular motion. And you can see it's curving it towards the center. I know I'm super close. Hopefully I didn't go off camera. Roll your center. And you saw it just curl up. So add your glue to the back of the one we've been gluing. Ooh, oh no. <laughs> Don't do what I'm doing tonight. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at a petal and place it in between. These are always comical, aren't they? <laughs> That's why we use a mat. <laughs> Roll the very tips of the larger one in a circular motion. So you can see they all are curving in. Now roll your center and that really lifted that center in. Add glue to the back and try not to drop it like I just did. <laughs> Set it down, look at a petal and place it in between. And if you need to, you can move it. 
but it does dry super fast. I use Gorilla Glue, so it does dry super fast. And again, our, we did the, what, for the last three or four? Roll, just roll that top in a circular motion. And you can see I did that one, but this one I didn't do. Then roll that center right around where the petals meet the base. Closes it in on itself. Add a generous amount of glue. We're gonna flip it over. We look at one of our larger petals and place it in between any of those gaps. And there we have our center. Now let's build our flower. So the smaller one, we're gonna leave out. The next two, we're gonna pierce our holes in the center with the smaller embossing stylus. We already did our sepal. We're going to take our 18 gauge wire, cut it in half, Get our needle nose pliers. We're gonna go right up to the top, place it in between, and we're gonna bend it around. So you're just making a hook, like a shepherd's hook. Squeeze it together, then bend it 90 degrees, like a corner. I was just putting my tools away. <laughs> now, since these are both the same size, you can choose any one that you would like. Thread it onto your floral stem. Add glue to that bottom of that wire loop. Thread it all the way up. And we're gonna give it a moment to dry. So I'm going to hold it underneath to make sure that glue and that wire stay put. I hope that you're having an awesome, fantastic day, friends, and thanks for watching. All right, I'm just going to put that in our styrofoam, and I just rolled my center with the metal ball stylus tool, lifts my petals. We're going to thread it onto the floral wire. We're going to add glue around the base. So the easiest way is to hold your glue gun, squeeze and turn your wire. Bring the petals down in between the previous layers petals. So that's where the peony gets its uh, name, the bowl of beauty, because it looks like a bowl you would put your fruit or food in. <laughs> now we're going to, you can roll the center if you like, thread your sepal on. Now what I like to do is add the glue to the bottom of the sepal. So a little bit at the center and out, not out super far. So it's going to give the flower some stability. So hopefully you can see that there. Thread it down and press. So now we have our last petal. So we're going to cover up our metal here. I have it in the styrofoam just for stability. So I'm going to add some glue to the back of that petal. And we're just going to place it in between the previous layers petals. Petal. 
and try and get it in the center. And there's your bowl. And now all we need to do is add glue to our center and glue it in. Add a nice generous amount. Let's try not to drop this one. And glue her right in there. I'm just gonna make sure she dries for a moment. And then optionally, oops. <laughs> Need it right in the center there. You can add some additional um, coloring to the top if you choose to do so. And that can be done with um, some pan pastels or any chalk that you may have in your stash. I like to just use a paintbrush I get from Dollar Tree. This is a Leah Griffith pan pastel pack from Amazon. So I like to use the bright green, almost like it's... Um, some pollen and also you can go over the tips if you want with your wild honey. Now this one I did add a lot more coloring to and then in the very center I like to take the hot pink and just dab some coloring. A little bit of color and then you can go through and add a little bit of green Almost like it's pollen for allergy season. <laughs> All right, friends, that's the bowl of beauty. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and make lots of flowers. Take care.